Hey, what is up, YouTube? It's your girl Miranda here with back another episode of Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, so we're a half squid person now. Great. <laughs> uh, but we finally make it to the outskirts of Baldur's Gate. Uh, we finally got to the fireworks factory um, after waiting for so long. And uh, we're actually not even in the city yet. We're in the outskirts of the city called Riverton. And uh, we helped some of the people there. Um, so despite the fact that our face is very scary. Uh, so I hope you enjoy the episode. If you do, make sure you leave me a like or a comment. And if you want to watch more of my Baldur's Gate playthrough, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Have a wonderful day. We'll catch you all next time. Bye. Here, here I was thinking it's like, oh, we're just going to have a nice, fun jaunt into um, the city of Baldur's Gate. Um, but no, I have to go to the astral plane and find out that my wife isn't actually an illithid. In and I then think. turn into an illithid myself. No, I have scary eyes. I have scary eyes. Is that what's going on here? I feel like Carlac will... Carlac will never love me now. What's on your mind? A lot? Oh my god, I have scary eyes and scary face and scary skin. The Emperor has offered us a special tadpole. We've become partial mind players, but we'll get great powers in turn. Special tadpole? <laughs> Bit of a contradiction in terms, don't you think? I don't even want a regular one. I don't want one either. You're talking about turning into what? A half squid? Then again, you can pull it off better than most. No. Are you... Are you... I, are you saying I have a chance? Um, I don't want to convince everyone else to do this. Uh, I understand if you don't want to make use of it. We won't speak of it again. Thank the gods. Uh, the ones I'm very keen to address are Carlac's quest and Shadowheart's quest. Um, Carlac, because maybe if I do her quest, she'll give me a shot with her finally. Because I've been trying so hard to romance her this entire game, and it just like it just everyone is horny in this game for me except her and Shadowheart, the two that I would like. I would consider Shadow. I mean, I'd go with Shadowheart, but I'd be thinking of Carlac. <laughs> Um, and just Carlock just like won't. There's just there's never any dialogue options to for her to get to get some private time together. So it's like, ugh, come on, let me romance you. Ugh. Um, but Shadow, I like Shadowheart too. So like you know, I'd rather I I'd rather settle for Shadowheart than get nothing. Um, excuse me, I can't find my mom. Well, that sounds like you problem. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and also I am now a half a lithid, um, so I have scary face, and and I hate it because <laughs> I I failed my wisdom check, and I couldn't resist I couldn't resist the powers, so now now I have a scary face. Uh, this is a very beautiful game. It's, this is a very well polished game, um, despite despite the the many many bugs. But, uh, you know, for, for how big this game is, like, you kind of expect some some flaws. You kind of expect some some bugs, so. <laughs> That's your problem, Karen. Get lost. <laughs> uh, where did you last see her? She was, um, she was sick. She had spots on her face and hands. She went to go get some herbs. Oh. And she was supposed to come back the She's same got the day. shingles. That was last 10 day, though. You must be hungry. Here, take some food. I have like infinite camp supplies. Wow. It's fine. Thanks. My mom would like this. She's the best cook in the world. Aww. And she taught me too. I'll um, I'll look for her. I think she'll probably come soon. Thanks a lot. Okay, pick up the. Pick it up. Pick it up. Oh my God! No! Stop it! Why can't I move? There we go. Hello? I'm stuck. Let's jump. All right. Oh my god. <laughs> Game glitched out. <laughs> I was stuck in that little corner. Friend tries to get you to invest. Kindly turn her down. She doesn't need. Oh, did she get in involved in an MLM scheme? <laughs> I should speak up. I'm not interested in buying your shitty cosmetics. If I hire the refugee. The place was empty. Keep those thugs away from my family. Denuvia! Get these spotters out of my house now! Wow. 
Arthur, <laughs> sweetheart, you paid me and my boys to be caravan guards, not cattle wranglers. If you want us to get our hands dirty, it'd be our pleasure. But that'll be extra. Um, calm down and tell me what's going on. I just want to remove these unlawful <coughs> interlopers from my property. All right, yeah, let's detect bots. I can't let them stay here. What if the little brat gets into the basement? The basement? <gasps> it's always heartening to see a true philanthropist out in the wild. Excuse me. I'm exceedingly charitable. Ask anyone in this wretched town. <laughs> It's one thing to donate extremely generously to those less fortunate than oneself, and quite another to give away one's entire house. Oh, I'm a I feel, very feel my insight, individual, but this is my home. I Either mean, they uh, leave he's not I'll being unreasonable. Them. Like, if you if you're like on a vacation or you leave your house for an extended period of time, and you come back and there's other people there that you don't know, or you're like. Get the fuck out of my house! <laughs> In that case, perhaps I can help you out. What do you mean by that? Shh, sweetheart. Adults are talking. This is guild business, and we'll handle it as soon as we get paid. Enough of this bickering! You! What's your proposal? Have you tried talking it out with them? Perhaps you could come to some sort of agreement. Agreement? Why should I negotiate with the vermin who've stolen I mean, my house? They're not vermin, they're I people. I've got nothing to say to them. Okay, well, maybe, maybe I, okay. Look, I know the guild's rates. I'll solve your problem for half the cost. Advantage, yeah, let's go. You don't exactly look desperate for gold, but I can't help but admire such solid business acumen. Very well, get the job done. And you'll I hate be that paid I have a scary face now. Be in my good graces. Let's Do you think you're clever coming in and undercutting us, sweetheart? We were about to make a bit of extra cash before you butted in. You owe the guild a cut. I could give you that gold, but then I'd just take it back after I killed you. All right, I'm. I actually, I spent all my inspiration at the end of uh, last stream. You so. know, this was fun to begin with, but now I'm getting bored. Boys, how about a bit of the Rivington Rats' famous hospitality? Are we fighting? For our friend here. Oh, we're fighting. Okay. I was gonna say why well, I number you four to four to one, but we are in fact evenly matched. You're dead. There you go. See those animals are out of the picture. Can we stay now? Or are you going to turn on us next? Take this coin. Find a safe house in the city. You don't want mercenaries near your kids. I don't want to take charity from some stranger. I'm trying to help you, my guy. But <laughs> I will. For the sake of my daughter, thank you. We'll get going as soon as we've got our things together. Now I want to look in the basement. <laughs> The ominous, ominous basement. All right, let's save before we uh, go in. An unfinished love story handwritten by Arthur Gregorio, whose name is attached to the bottom of every page. Wow. <laughs> okay, I'm not reading this. <laughs> that looks like something that belongs on slash r slash men writing women. <laughs> Oh, I rolled a one. Shit. Well, that's one way of disarming the traps. Man, whatever's in here. I sure hope it's worth all this trouble. I'm going for it. <laughs> what could be so important that it has this many traps on it? Blackmail letter. That sounds important. Arfur, package still waiting for you at fellow gears. You better not be late again. We'll salt your wonder if you're really as committed as you claim to be. Pick it up, put it in the teddy bears, make the donation. It couldn't be simpler, really. If there's still, if it's still here this time tomorrow, we'll stuff you with it. As you well know, we've plenty to spare. Oh. Checking Arthur's donations. Looks like his generosity is compromised. 
Um, hi, I found your blackmail letter. Can I help you? If the guild come asking, I'll be making it very clear that you took it upon yourself to kill their thugs. Well, they attacked me. It was self-defense. So you should probably get away from the scene of the crime. I already know your secret, my dude. Um, I found some rather sinister... Okay, it was, um... We got rid of the squatters, so let's let's see if he's willing to reward us for that. Uh, well, the squatters are gone. The house is all yours now. At long last! I forgot that I actually, like, told him to go away. As we agreed. Thank you. I've got so much to do now, I'd really better get on with it. Excuse me, would you? I'm not done talking to you. Hey, we actually profited on that. Um, right. Again. Look, I really don't have time to chat. I'm sure you can find someone less busy to listen to somewhere. Um, I found some rather sinister things in your basement. Sinister? <laughs> Nonsense! Those are experimental toys. Guaranteed to bring a smile to the face of even the unhappiest child. They're extremely precious. And you shouldn't be poking around in my workshop and tampering with them. Well, I'm going to get to the bottom of this one way or another. Really? There's no this? And nothing to get to the bottom of. Um, what's going on here? <laughs> Sticks of cheese. Between his piggy toes. How dare you? What in the hells is all of this? A necessity, good sir. The Steel Watch loves pretending sweet Rivington doesn't exist. So we have decided to protect you, dear patrons. <laughs> no need to thank us. You'll be allowed in once I've done this batch. Next! Hello, hello, and welcome to the Circus of the Last Days. The finest extra planar circus there is. That's my favorite kind of circus. <gasps> A circus! Can we go? Oh, <laughs> Garlock! <laughs> oh my god. I love it when she gets excited about stuff. Oh my god. She's like... She's like a little kid at heart sometimes, and I, I find it so adorable. I, oh my god, I love her so much. I've never heard of an extra planar circus. We travel from plane to plane, thrilling all, blessed to see us. From tempestuous Ginny to belligerent red caps, you'll find them all here. But enough of this. The circus is a place of joy and distraction, so uh, come inside and forget your worries. All right. Let's let's go to the circus. Not a problem, dear patron. Benji just has to check if you're a vicious murderer. Benji? <sighs> I mean, I've killed people, but Brent does that make me a murderer? Like piss and iron. No light. Oh, well, that's a first. Usually I'd allow you in, but in these times, I can take no chances. Move along. Are you really going to disappoint Harlack? Um, I'm not a threat to you or anyone else in the circus. I swear it. Oh, damned if I'm not a sucker for big eyes and a heartfelt plea. Very well. Welcome to the circus of the last days. Have fun and be sure to catch the star of our show, Tribbles the Clown. All right, we're taking Carlac to the circus. Zara the Mummy. Hello. Mm. Is the mummy also a mine? Uh, let's try. Let's try a detect thoughts. Does this also not understand common? <laughs> Do you want to buy face paint? I actually would. Um, I actually would love to see. Uh, to get some face paint, just to cover up the the scary face thing I got going on. <laughs> um, I'd like to see your face paints. Mm. Oh my god. Well, um, I'm actually not interested in your face paints. Approach! Ugly one! Who are you calling ugly? What the fuck you just call me? <laughs> ugly! Hideous! Vile! You are fortunate to have found me, freakish one. Behold! Akabi's wheel of wonders! Oh. Spin! 
to win prizes beyond your tiny imagination and make your miserable life more bearable. Uh, what kind of things can I win? Akabi has traveled across the plains, burning and conquering all. Win the spoils of such conquest. Or, if luck smiles upon you, win the grand prize, the jackpot. Uh, so what's the jackpot? No more questions. Spin or don't. <laughs> The spongy mortal. Who are you call him sponge? Okay, let's spin the wheel. Let us see if you have luck's favor. Wheel of morality. Turn, turn, turn. Tell us the lesson that we must learn. I failed my perception Alas, check. Alas, no jackpot for you, ugly one. But you may have this. Uh, thanks, I guess. You are welcome. Oh, you cut off his dialogue. All right. I got a definitely a broom of flying. Oh boy. <laughs> Motherfucker.